All right, everyone, welcome back to another video. Today might actually be a bit of a short one. I feel like this trick isn't going to take that long. Right, I'm going to try it with this vocal first. I feel like this probably works the best. So I'm just going to load a vocal chain I have and I'm going to turn off the delay and we have this ambient reverb on here um, using fruity reverb. But I'm actually going to go after the fruity reverb. So we're going to go to slot five here and I'm going to add a fruity stereo enhancer. I do want to make this point as well, because a lot of people don't know this. If you actually go to slot six, um, you can see that you have this more plugins tab up top here. So uh, you can see I've added four plugins that don't usually show up in your list. So if you want to find out what other plugins FL has, this is a great way to do so. You can see there's all these different plugins in here. Uh, that you can, you know, add to your plugin list that may not be in there. So that's how I got like Fruity Reverb and Fruity Balance and other stuff like that in there. So now that you have your Fruity Reverb in there with your ambient preset, uh, I'll show you how this changed. Um, so you can see this is going to have, I'm just going to extend. Now you'll be able to hear the reverb on it. I feel you close. So it has a lot of reverb. I'll make it even more exaggerated so you can hear it better. I feel you close. And so what this trick is that I'm going to show you is we're going to use Stereo Enhancer to take the reverb tail from the vocal, or this can be used for any sound, and we're going to make it mono as it progresses. Uh, let's just highlight our reverb tail that we made so we're just going to highlight everything here and we're going to go to stereo separation then i'm going to uh, click uh, my right click here so we can create an automation clip and then uh, make sure we copy this 50 percent value uh, so just right click and copy the point and then right at the end here we want the reverb to start in stereo and then as it progresses we want it to go into mono so uh, i think uh, we'll do something like this so going down creates more stereo separation going upwards creates less stereo separation so it becomes mono so uh, we want to tail this off upwards i'll have it be quite aggressive so you can hear it i usually do something like this so that you know whenever the vocals come in again they just reset themselves you'll hear the vocals are going to go from reverb with stereo to reverb with mono and it kind of gives this cool effect i feel you close hear how it's become narrow so you can even uh let's just say we want this to be a little different like you know honestly you can do some pretty cool stuff with this like if we make some automation on the reverb so there's only a little bit of reverb at the start and then it comes in i feel you close and you see how that tail end is very narrow now it's it's not super wide anymore all right, I'm going to try it with a different vocal now because I feel like this one um, might have a cool sound to it. So here's in uh, some different context. You lift me up so high. You make my heart touch the sky. So also really important is that uh, this can be done with anything. So get like a bass one shot. You know, I'm thinking of uh, the Sharks one, this one here. So again, here is uh, some different context with a bass one shot. So we'll just increase the, we'll actually start it with no reverb at all. And then we'll have it uh, kind of progressively come in like this. And then we can take it our uh, middle ground into mono and you get the same effect. If you want it to be a little bit more passive, not as aggressive, you can always just extend this reverb tail so it's not as long, if you will, and maybe have a tail that looks a little bit more like this. So this is an older track of mine, but um, I use this in a track because um, it's really helpful when you have a mix that's like really clashing and you need to make some sounds more narrow. All right. So if you pay very close attention to around bar 57 here, something in this area right here, I think it's bar 57. You're going to hear uh, exactly what I'm talking about. I will point it out with my hand. <laughs> Take 
I can see how uh, the tail reverb of the saxophone becomes very narrow. And I did that intentionally to give the song like a little bit more of a darker vibe to it, I guess, and kind of have that, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, since the mix was already pretty wide, doing that makes it more narrow and not sound as like in your face, I guess is the way I'm going to explain it. Anyways, that's a cool trick that I just wanted to show you guys uh, for this episode. Yeah, I guess that's it. You could use that in your tracks. I think it's pretty, uh, pretty helpful. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers. Let's get to 2K pretty soon. Thank you guys so much. My Spotify link is in the description as well as all the other stuff through the link tree and all the sample packs are available in there as well on Gumroad. Anyways, thank you for watching. Be sure to join the Discord. That is something new. Uh, we've been sharing a lot of stuff in there. This has been a long outro. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.